Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. So we're just leaving Vernon, British Columbia, and we're heading north to Armstrong. And this is Highway 97. On the left there, there's a lake called Swan Lake. Not very deep, I know they do a lot of ice fishing and stuff there in the winter. There's a rowing club too, so you'll often see people out there rowing in the spring and summer. It's the end of September right now, September 2021. Kind of late afternoon. Super nice day. This would be kind of rush hour for this time of year. Doesn't get very busy around here. On the right, there's a lot of orchards and farms and that head up towards the hill. And uh, if you were to go to the right, which is east, that's where Silver Star Mountain is. There's a couple of smaller hills, mountains in front of it, so you can't actually see it, but it's not that far away. We're actually in the shadow of the mountains on the on our left hand side which aren't very tall but now we're in the sun. But on the left up here is a there's a turning lane and then on the left there's a big um, kind of fruit stand market type thing but lots of accidents people turning left there I think because coming the other direction you don't really have really good sight lines but there's always a couple of accidents there every year in the summer so if you wanted to head towards Kamloops or Falkland you get in the turn lane there on the right and that's going to take you under the under the highway here and that's actually where highway 97 continues from this point on this road becomes highway 97 a and it's very confusing there uh, seems like every almost every highway in the interior of BC is 97 and then with a letter on it it could be yeah, like hours away and it's still going to be, you know, a 97 something or other. I think the road that comes, goes from Ashcroft to Logan Lake was actually 97E or something. So anyway, it's really confusing, but uh, yeah, the letters are important. Really nice view from here. That little valley there you see the on the left where the there's a little bit of a gap there that's uh, kind of the back way that heads towards salmon arm I've done videos that way before but yeah it goes through um, what do they call it Silver Creek I think that's what it's called
there's a road on the right here um, off ramp and there again it goes underneath the highway but that's uh, a back way into Armstrong was it's really hard to get lost you just keep heading the right direction and uh, nice drive through there it's actually um, yeah, I guess it's right here and that's actually where the turnoff for one of the big uh, uh, mills is we'll pass it on the highway but I think there's a Rogers flour mill down there as well but yeah you can follow it right into uh, to Armstrong a couple different directions kind of branch off of that road when you go down you want to keep heading this way though up the valley so we're heading north right now so that's the mill on the left they have these big piles of sawdust or what they refer to as hog fuel I mentioned uh, the trucks before in other videos a big kind of boxy looking semi trailers usually B train but um, a few times that's actually caught fire and they had to dump uh, fire retardant on it and it spread across the road so yeah you'll actually see them bringing the, the bombers in here if it catches fire in the summer it gets quite warm here in the summer not as as hot as like a Soyuz but it's still still up there really nice spot lots of uh, fruit stands and vegetable stands in the left there that's kind of industrial park there's a lot of fiberglass stuff I used to make Bigfoot campers there and uh, Kohler bathtubs and a bunch of other stuff it can really stink around there like fiberglass if you're driving through there but that's another way that heads towards Armstrong So if you had a really good zoom lens, straight in front, like if you follow the road, the highway there, that's pointing right at Enderby Cliffs, which are uh, quite obvious once you see them there. Rock faces, pretty sheer drop, but there's hiking trails that head up to the top of those now. Actually, it's slightly, yeah, you can see on the the mountain in front of us, slightly to the left, a little more rocky looking. These are the outskirts of Armstrong. There's a couple of restaurants here. There's Tim Hortons on the left, Rabo. Yeah, right there. And um, NW, a couple of pubs. Uh, I think there's a McDonald's. They used to make Armstrong cheese here. So if you've heard of Armstrong cheese, they used to actually make it here. Now uh, that building is now like a feed store and a trucking company. It's got nothing to do with anything. But uh, there is still... A cheese manufacturing place but it's not Armstrong cheese and at the light there's a light up here if you were to make a left that pretty much takes you right to where that is his grocery store and a couple of things there pharmacy and that but yeah anyway they don't make uh we'll make Armstrong cheese here anymore unfortunately that probably ended you know in the 90s I guess I remember taking tours in there as a kid. So that's the main intersection there. We'd be in the left lane. And basically this is uh, 
this Armstrong, we're just going to be heading out of it now. I think this is where we'll end the video. And if you like this kind of thing, think about subscribing. Always appreciate it if you give it a like. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.